Okay, the casters on the shingle cart actually have three inch wheels. Fixed, one, two, three. This cart I brought inside here. It's got three fourths inch plywood. And then I just put some one by sixes across basically to have something a little bit more meat to uh, hold on to and just to gain some clearance. That's just something I just threw together. I bolted it with quarter twenty bolts on there. And this is the leading edge where the winch hooks up to. And it looks like that's a looks like that's a three eighths inch bolt. That's the eye that the winch hooks up to and it's just got a two by four. I think I glued that too which is a little bit overkill. These are the straps got some screw eyes they hook onto here generally I go diagonally so I've got one strap and then another strap there and at the very bottom here got a lot of crap on the ground it's just a scrap piece of plywood or excuse me two by four that just holds the uh, bot the first shingle on there. So if you're just going to put one shingle on that will hold it. The second one goes on with a strap of course either diagonally or straight to grab and then the third one has this. That's why there's two straps for three bundles of shingles. So this thing's fairly beefy. It looks like the pitch on here I used wheel to wheel. That's not necessarily a railroad talk. Center line is 21 and a half and then if you subtract off an inch and a half for a, a 2 by 4 it's 20 inch I believe uh, between the edges on here and that's just how I built it kind of total overkill. This thing doesn't really deflect that much with three bundles. For two bundles you could probably get by with something smaller. I just I want to be able to keep this thing in case there's another hurricane just keep this in the garage. I can throw together a track and uh, you know build it. The track can either be two by fours, two by sixes, two by eights, any materials you've got. So if you go on this side of the track you've got about 23 if you use the inside it's roughly about 20 now the bigger wheels allow a little bit more clearance on here for the step on here I just use three inch wheels because that's what they had at home Depot, and also a little bit more uh, less rolling resistance but that beefy cart I mean I did it treated in case it gets rained on it's not gonna get torn up down here in the deep south. There's a piece of that track that's still standing up. If I touch that and go over here you got 23, 23 and a half inches. And this little raised edge here is just so it doesn't jump off of it. That's about a looks like a half inch to five eighths. You don't want to hit the flange of the uh, caster. Okay, that's what's left of the mount to hold the um, winch on that was just an angle bracket and something cobbled together.